another Scrap Diva Designs designer kit. And this one is mostly um, winter, not Christmas. So first up, we have some Galentine's words, um, or a Valentine's, be mine, XOXO, love you, adore, and then Galentine. I looked at that forever trying to figure out what that said, because we have to read it backwards and in cursive. And then there are some more words right here. Um, kiss me, and you are the balm. The bomb. Oh my gosh, the bomb. Give me a break, Tamara. So anyway, more um, Valentine's sentiments and words. And of course, just like always, everything will be linked below. And be sure to use code URBAN10 so that you can um, save 10% on your order. Um, this one looks like a little ornament and like an ornament tag that I'm really curious to kind of break into and check out. And then we have this, I've already seen some people make this one and I'm excited about it. It is an arrow and you use a straw in between. Get a straw here like this and it just goes right in between and then like right through your heart. So I'm thinking of making these for my students for their Valentine this year. And next up we have these cute little heart ABC letters. And then look at this shape book. Yes, queen. So it says love and it has these little binding part over here so you can put it together. So that will be really fun to play with. Um, perfect for like putting all kinds of pictures and everything in there. So that will be a lot of fun to work with. Here we have some beautiful lips with some lip gloss and smooch kiss the sentiments. She does such a great job of including all of these little extra details so that you can um, embellish them. Uh, like crazy even if you don't have a whole bunch of stickers or cut aparts or anything you can make your own so instead of just sending this to you blank she throws some extra stuff in there just in case you want to use it and I love that this is like a seed packet or a library pocket except for it has the fold over on top and it says does it say shake it shake it oh is it like a shake a mix thing shake it oh that's so cool so yeah um like a little shaker valentine that's so sweet and then this one a little soap or lotion or perfume bottle however you want to put it i'm thinking love potion number nine is where i'm going with this one but it looks like it's a shaker if you want it to be and tons of different layering pieces that you can add to this in addition to the different sizes so this one will be a lot of fun to play with I'm gonna be working with this one today and this is like a little mini box and you can slide a little gift in there and I'll be using this today for my secret pal uh, to package up some chopsticks that I got for her and a little bag topper heart bag topper with the little lacy hearts I really like this lacy heart design because it um, the hearts are nice and big so popping them out like the little pieces, the scraps should not be hard. And I really appreciate that because going through with a pokey stick or just the tools to get those out is really tricky. So you get three sizes, three different sizes of bag toppers. So you can go ham and package up whatever you want. And then some stamps made with love, sent with love. So lucky to have a friend like you from my heart to yours. Valentine's Day Express, just a lot of different Valentine goodness. And then this is something that Erica's been getting into lately, I've noticed, and that is making her own shaker mix. And it's been a lot of fun to kind of see the different things that have come out. I used a lot of them just for, um, uh, not for shaker mix, but just little embellishments on some of the projects that I was making over the holidays. And so that will continue into the spring and Valentine's Day with the butterflies and these kitties. Or just little baggies maybe fish and then kisses and hearts again so super duper cute and some more stamps will you be my galentine with love i love everything about you to my bestie so bren you know i'm thinking about you with this one <laughs> don't be surprised and then these last two are more of the christmas ones this is the rocking horse. I've seen a couple people working with this and I thought, oh my gosh, I don't have that. I'm curious about that. So um, 
I'll be making that one soon because this is more of a Christmas one. Although a rocking horse can be for baby or whatever, it doesn't have to be a Christmas thing. And then lastly is this elaborate stocking that's got so much different stuff to it. So we've got this stocking here on the back with the stitching, the bows and everything. And then this stocking right here and which has the like the little cut apart pieces for this those the toe and the heel and then this stocking right here and so i'm really curious to see how this layers together um it looks like it could be a mini book a shaker could be a box could be an accordion file can be a lot of things so regardless i have a lot of fun and craftiness and creativity in store for me over the next few weeks. I know what I'm gonna be doing during my winter break from teaching, and you know what it's gonna be? Crafting. I'm already in one swap for Valentine's Day, so let me at it because it's about to get crazy. Have a good one and thanks for watching.